Dr. Sean here from The Active Life with your brute tip for the day. Uh, we get a lot of questions about how do I increase my hip flexibility. Uh, everybody sees the beautiful squats that their friends have and they want to emulate the same kind of form. So what we're going to talk about today is, first of all, do you need to increase your hip flexibility, right? So too much mobility is not necessarily a good thing. We want you to move well, we want you to move frequently, but we don't want you to um, overemphasize mobility as a part of your programming. So, the first thing that we're going to do is we've included a link below that you can click on. That's our hip flexibility test. If you're passing that test, then we don't need you to be doing the larger volume of work that we're going to talk about today as a protocol to increase hip flexibility. If you're failing that test, then by all means, jump into the larger protocol of volume for hip flexibility. So again, in this video, we're gonna talk about two different phases of, of uh, improvement. The first phase being what to do if you don't have appropriate hip flexibility and how to maintain the flexibility you have if you do. So now what we're going to do is, assuming you've clicked on the link below, you've taken our hip flexibility test. That's the first thing you need to do. We're gonna assume that everything else in your body is healthy. We can't account for bad ankles, bad knees, bad low back when we're just talking about the hip and the vacuum. So assuming everything else is healthy, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna talk about the group that does not have ample hip flexibility as per our hip flexibility test. There's a few things that we want you to do every single day and a few things we want you to do every single week that are going to help increase your hip flexibility. The first thing that we think is very important is that you spend time in what is currently the bottom of your squat. So, how much time? We like to prescribe people about an hour a week of accumulated time sitting in the bottom of the squat. It sounds like a lot, but it's really a conservative, a conservative amount of time for you to spend down there. It really works out to about eight to nine minutes per day of run time in the bottom of a squat. If you're not wearing your lifters for that, you'd be doing that either barefoot or in flat shoes. If you have a really difficult time holding that bottom position, go ahead and grab a post and let it support you. Sitting back in your heels all the way at the bottom of the squat. The second thing that we like to have people do, especially if it's really difficult for you to hold the bottom of the squat, is for you to hold the bottom of a lunge where the front leg is elevated. We want to increase that hip flexion and we want you to stay in that position for as long as possible. So if you can't hold the bottom of a squat for 30 minutes, I'm, excuse me, for 60 minutes a week, you're going to hold the bottom of that big lunge for 30 minutes a week on each leg. The third thing that we want you to do is start working on building up some strength in the bottom of that end range by doing high lateral box step up. So you're going to set the box right up next to you and every other day I want you to do three to four sets of eight to ten reps depending on your tolerance to the highest box that you can step up on with each leg. It shouldn't be really taxing on your muscular system. It's really about forcing end range and then adding range of motion and strength through it. The fourth thing that we want you guys to do is on the days that you're not doing your lateral box step ups, we want you to do what we call squatted press outs. So you're gonna go to lightweight, anywhere from eight to 15 pounds, it's just meant to be a counterbalance for you. You're gonna squat all the way down, and as you're squatting down, that weight's gonna come out in front of you to be a counterbalance so you're able to stay on your full foot without falling onto your back. Again, you're gonna do those for three to four sets for 10 to 12 reps. Um, with minimal rest in between on the opposite days that you're doing your lateral box step ups. So if your lateral box step ups are Monday, Wednesday, Friday, your squatted press outs are gonna be Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Last thing we want you guys to do if you don't have the appropriate hip flexibility to squat to full depth is we want you to grab a relatively lightweight between 25 and 33% of your one rep max front squat, throw it in your front rack and accumulate two minutes holding the bottom of your front squat. Again, you're going to take 25 to 33 percent of your one rep max front squat. You're going to put it on your front rack and head down to the bottom of the squat. Try to hold it for two minutes, once a week. Okay? When you can do that for two minutes straight, start increasing the weight and try to increase the range of motion at the same time. Those of you who are able to pass the squat flexibility test, the hip flexibility test, um, but still feel like your squat stinks, there's a good chance that you're just not strong enough in that bottom position or somewhere in that range of motion, and that's what we need to be improving. Things that you can do to help yourself, number one, go and check out the last root tip video that we produced. They talked about the deadlift to squat strength ratio. Make sure that yours are lining up. You can find that right on brutestrengthtraining.com. Go to the blog, it's in there. The second thing we want you guys to do is start adding in those lateral box step-ups and the squatted press-outs 
uh, relatively frequently throughout the week so that you can build strength at the bottom of your range of motion. Again, this comes down to strength for you guys. If you're passing hip flexibility test, it is not a mobility issue. That's what the tests are there for. Let's fix what's actually broken instead of just rolling around on the ball and stretching our hips all day. Until next time, this is Dr. Sean with the Active Life giving you your brute tips on hip flexibility.